CSIS 2440 is filmed before a live studio audience. Right now that we've got this carol thing done, I've made a copy of it because I want to modify some things that are in the code here slightly. Because the way it's written right now, we look here in the script and, for example, we have this robot controller class, which allowed us on line 15 to instantiate a robot, right? Well, this has in mind the theory or the idea that we might have multiple robots, right? I could make multiple robots and that wouldn't be that hard. I could just do another one of these and call it RC2 or something like that, right? We'd have to change some of the event handling stuff down here to be able to control one robot versus another, but you could make multiple robots. But Carol Robot originally was designed for one thing, to teach you five or six basic commands, which is sort of this fake programming language. We've used Carol for the last little while here to, to build, to learn a different thing about programming. Not to learn some basic commands, but to learn about JavaScript event handlers, okay? Well, Carol in our world is only gonna be one robot ever. So in that case, we actually don't need to make a whole class here and instantiate it, we can actually just make an object literal. Okay, an object literal is a lot more compact and we never, we're never gonna instantiate it ever. And so a couple videos back, we talked about object literals. So an object literal is just a plain variable, but it holds a whole bunch of stuff. So this is what an object literal is. We can say, let robot controller, yeah, equal, and we get rid of all this stuff here and we just have one set of curly braces. And now, and we get rid of that. So now we have this, it's not quite right yet, but this is gonna be the whole, it's just a variable right here. This, this is an object. And what it looks like is this. We say column is one. That's the column it's gonna start in. And we say that row is 10, and we'll say that direction is north, and we'll say that bottom is 18, and left is, sorry, not equal, left was 15, and then beeper, beeper is three. And those should not be semicolons, those should all be commas there. So we'll fix that real quick. And that last one doesn't need to be a comma, obviously. I'll fix that in a second. Okay. And get rid of that. Okay, so now we just have this thing called robot controller. In fact, why don't we just call it RC, right? So we don't even need line 13 anymore because we just literally created it right there. That is exactly the same thing as what line 13 used to do. And in fact, we can shrink that up nicely all in one line here, right? Just clean that up. Put some spaces maybe in between those. And now we have this nice little clean thing here. And this is now really, really clean and easy to deal with. And all of this code still works. It's still gonna be rc.call because we called it rc up here, right? And so pretty much I'll just scroll through and take a peek here and I'm pretty sure nothing else will break, so we'll test it out just to make sure. But that should work just fine. So let's go back, refresh, check our console for any bugs, and nothing yet. Press the space bar, he's moving, hang right, move, move, drop off a beeper, cruise around, drop another one, pick it up, hit escape, resets. All with that little object. Now, because we did that, think about this. This whole line right here, well, when it's, yeah, when I when I go to reset Carol, all I gotta do is just call that again. Just set it again, right? It's back to the exact same values, okay? Okay, so that's one nice little thing. There's a couple other things I wanted to take a peek at here just to refactor and make it a little bit cleaner. One of them is down here this event here where we're saying class name equals north and then we're setting the direction here. We can clean that up slightly 
What if we renamed our classes to just the letter N, East, South, West? And then right here, we set this, and then afterwards, we set the class name. Right, so when we're done with this case statement, we just do the class name once. Carol.classname is equal to rc.dir. Right? Because we set right, we set it right there. So that means we don't need this. That's a lot less code, duplication, calling the object multiple times. Right? That saves us a little bit of space and time. Okay? And again, let's just make sure we didn't break anything here. Space moves it, hang a right. Oh, my right is not working. Let's do a hard refresh just to make sure. Turn right. Oh, yeah, it must have been that. Space, space, hang a right. Yeah, I just didn't hard refresh it. Hang a left, space, pick it up, go up, go down, drop a beeper, escape. Looks good. So just clean up the code a little bit, right? There's lots of little things like this that you can do if you think through your code and go through it and and just you know play around with it, right? <laughs> yeah, it, which and that's a that's a habit that I've not been that good at, right? Yeah, yeah. So notice here that this we need to fix this, right? Right, that's wrong. That should say north when we reset it, okay? So the other thing that we can do, we, we seem to call this quite a bit. What if in our style robot function here, we just do that in the style robot? This line of code right here, we just put that in the style robot, right? So here's what I mean by that. We'll cut that out of there completely. Go to style robot. Where are you? Style robot function right here. And we'll just set the class name to whatever the directory is. And then, remember, whenever an event fires, this is the function that runs, right? So when it runs, one of the things it might do is call the move function right here. But no matter what, whether it calls move or one of these, when all is said and done, this line of code on 62, which doesn't exist yet, will always run. So if I put this right here, this will run whether we moved or we changed the direction. Right? Because if we move, if we call move, we run move, but then we come back and finish off the switch statement, which is nothing because there's all those breaks. So the moment move does its job, then we break out of the switch and we end up on line 62. Right? So having it in the move function is just redundant. Okay? But now, style robot, what does it do? It not only does it change the bottom and left position, it also sets the class name, right? Well, if we go up here in our reset, we don't need this line anymore because it happens on line 11, right? Make sense? So just a little bit of cleaning, housekeeping. Again, always make sure that we didn't break anything. Refresh, space bar is moving, hang a right with the right arrow key, drop a beeper off with the enter key, turn up. Drop another one off, turn down, cruise down, hit escape, and resets. Okay. The only other thing that I want to change here is I'm going to get rid of this, and I like to change the names here to, instead of style robot, I think a better name is position. I'm just going to call it position. So style robot is being called right there and right there. So we'll just change that to position and then change that. And the other thing is instead of reset Carol, we're just gonna say reset, okay? So reset, and let's find where else we're calling that, right there, that's the only place. So reset, so it's a little bit more generic, right? And now Carol is just this variable here. Divs is where we're getting all the divs that we're gonna put, that we can, put the beepers in, okay? And then we have these few functions here. The last thing I would do with this is I would actually make a separate file here, 
So let's go to the actual thing here. And we'll go into the JavaScript. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to rename it to variables. And the variables will be the only thing. Whoa, just erased the wrong one there. Variables will be the only thing in this file, right? Just the variables. And then over here in the actual script, we're going to close that. We're going to rename it to functions. Functions. And get rid of the variables from there. And then in our style, in our HTML here, we will call the functions. Yep, and variables. And again, let's just make sure we didn't break it. But this is cleaner code. It's a little easier to look at. I look at the variables and there's not a whole lot there. Functions, there's just a few functions that manage everything. Okay, so here we go. Refresh one last time. Make sure there's no errors. Spacebar, drop a beeper, hang a right, space, another beeper, go up, let's turn around and go pick up a beeper and hit escape and it resets, right? Nice and clean and a little bit better looking refactored code. All right, any questions about our buddy Carol?